Nepal, a landlocked country between India and China, is famous for its mountain peaks. The small country is home to eight of the world's ten highest peaks, including Mount Everest and Kanchenjunga, the world's tallest and third tallest, respectively. The cow is the national animal of Nepal, and Hinduism is the religion practiced by the majority of the population. Cows are considered sacred and inviolable in Hinduism because they are the incarnation or avatar of the divine goddess Lakshmi. During the major Hindu festival of Tihar, cows are worshipped. It is illegal to kill an animal in this country, and due to religious beliefs, people do not eat cows. Nepal's flag is red and features two triangular shapes stacked on top of one another. The flag's crimson red color represents the color of the country's national flower, the rhododendron. The color also represents war victory and the bravery of the Nepalese people. The flag's blue border represents peace. The two triangles represent Nepal's mountains. The sun and moon shapes on the flag represent the warrior's aggression and the people's calm and peace-loving nature. If you enjoy learning about different countries and cultures, please like and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. Watch till the end of this video, I will share with you the location where the Yeti's footprint was last sighted. Here are the top 10 attractions. 1. Sigurmatha National Park. Sigurmatha is a spectacular area with dramatic mountains, glaciers, and deep valleys dominated by Mount Everest, the world's highest peak, 8,848 meters. The park is home to several endangered species, including the snow leopard and the lesser panda. Sigurmatha National Park covers 1,148 square kilometers of the Himalayan ecological zone in Nepal's Khumbu region. The park encompasses the upper catchment areas of the Dudkashi and Bothoshi rivers and is largely composed of high Himalayan rugged terrain and gorges, ranging from 2,845 meters at Manjo to the top of the world's highest peak. Mount Everest is located on the border between China and Nepal, in political and geographical terms, the two countries share ownership of the mountain. The best months to visit are October to November and March to May. June to September should be avoided because the area receives heavy rainfall, approximately 1,000 mm, making hiking and camping difficult. 2. Bhaktapur. From the beginning, Bhaktapur was one of Nepal's three royal cities. Bhaktapur, also known as Bidgan, is well known for its religious, cultural, and historical heritage. This city is known as an open museum because it is rich in ancient arts, religious values, fabulous cultural traditions, architectural masterpieces, and ancient sculptures. Furthermore, the city is known as a city of gods. Despite suffering significant damage during the 2015 earthquake, it remains one of the best places to visit in Nepal which is just outside of Kathmandu. Begin by visiting Durbar Square, which houses the royal palace and a couple of temples. It is a collection of pagodas and shikara-style temples centered on a brick and wood palace with 55 windows. The square is one of the valley's most charming architectural showpieces, highlighting Nepal's ancient arts. Also visit the Nyadapola and Datatreya temples, as well as the Taliju and Bhairavnath temples, you won't regret it. When you've had your fill of temples, it's time to shop. Bhaktapur is famous for its puppets, handicrafts, and beautiful pottery. 3. Kathmandu. Kathmandu is Nepal's bustling, slightly dusty, and never boring capital, and it's usually the stop for discovering some of the best places to visit. Kathmandu is well known for its religious monuments. The city's landscape is dotted with temples, monasteries, and stupas. The eclectic mix of temples, historic sites, shrines, restaurants, and bustling streets has to be one of the best things here. Once in town, visit the stunning Pashupadinath Temple, the UNESCO site of Budanath Stupa, the Monkey Temple of Swayambunath, and the Kopan Monastery. On a clear day, the Chandragiri Hills in Kathmandu provide a panoramic view of the Himalayan ranges and Mount Everest. Take a walk up the top hill of Kathmandu Valley National Park for a spectacular 360-degree view of the snow-capped Himalayas and the lush greenery that surrounds it. Standing in one spot, one can see all eight Himalayan ranges. Kathmandu is a safe place to visit, and its people are known for being extremely friendly and welcoming to tourists and visitors. It is not unfamiliar to tourists, is extremely welcoming to visitors, and is extremely well organized for traveling around. 4. Nagarkot. Head to this picturesque hill station in Nepal for breathtaking views of the mighty Himalayas. It's one of the best places to visit in Nepal, especially if you like mountains. Nagarkot, located near Bhaktapur, is the ideal place to unwind and enjoy breathtaking views of eight Himalayan ranges as well as spectacular sunrises and sunsets, if the weather holds out. It is one of the most scenic spots in Bhaktapur district, with an elevation of 2,195 meters. It is famous for its sunrise views of the Himalayas, which include Mount Everest and other peaks in eastern Nepal's Himalayan range. You can stay for a night at the resort and catch the sunrise from the hilltop. The Nagarkot tour takes about three days of hiking, but most people can drive there overnight to see the sunset and sunrise. The breathtaking landscapes and hills with views of the Kathmandu Valley and Himalayan ranges are a once-in-a-lifetime experience. 5. Pokhara. 
Pokhara, located on the shores of Lake Fewa, is best known for its unparalleled views of the snow-capped Annapurna Himalayan range. It is more impressive than anything that can be captured in a photograph. Aside from being an amazing place to explore, Pokhara is frequently used as a gateway to the Himalayas. Pokhara literally spoils visitors with green forests, underground caves, beautiful waterfalls, the Valley of Orchids, and the Massif glaciers. Especially for the spectacular sunrises that can be seen from this vantage point. Boating, trekking, rafting, and extreme sports such as rafting, canoeing, and bungee jumping are also popular in Pokhara. There is nothing you can miss in this place, from hills to waterfalls to pristine lakes to markets and shrines. 6. Panati. Panati is a small town in the Kav district, southeast of Kathmandu. During the ancient period, it served as a trading hub and salt trade route between Tibet and India. After falling into an economic rut after the end of the salt trade in the 1950s and the construction of the Arnico Highway in the 1960s, which bypassed the town. Panati is located at the confluence of two rivers, Rosi and Panyamati, which have long been associated with religious significance. Visitors frequently bathe in those rivers, believing that it will cleanse them of their sins and anxieties. There are also a number of Buddhist and Hindu religious monuments, and it is regarded as one of the most important medieval sites in the area. Panati Temple is Nepal's oldest temple, with nearly perfect preservation. Furthermore, it's like stepping back in time because little has changed in centuries. A self-guided heritage walk is the best way to explore around. 7. Kumbu Valley. The Kumbu Valley has been one of Nepal's most popular tourist destinations. This trek is all about seeing some of the best views of Everest Nepal has to offer. You'll be trekking through the stunning Kumbu Valley towards Everest, while also seeing some of the world's tallest mountains, including Lhotse and Ama de Blam. Depending on the route taken, the Kumbu Valley trek can take anywhere from two weeks to a month. The Kumbu Valley trek isn't just for the faint of heart, but if you complete it, you will have lifetime bragging rights. But seriously, do not attempt this trek unless you have prior experience or are accompanied by a qualified guide. 8. Patan, Lalitpur. Patan, also known as Lalitpur, which translates to, beautiful city, is a one-of-a-kind city full of exquisite architecture, wooden carvings, and religious art, making it one of the best places to visit in Nepal. Patan Durbar Square is a popular tourist destination. The square is filled with ancient sites, temples, and shrines known for their intricate carvings. The former royal palace complex is the center of religious and social life in Patan, and it houses a museum with a collection of bronze statues and religious objects. One thing to keep in mind is that the area around Patan Durbar Square contains over 600 stupas, 136 courtyards, and 55 major temples. You should spend about two hours covering the major sites. It is one of three Durbar squares in Kathmandu Valley that are UNESCO World Heritage Sites. 9. Bondipur. Bondipur is a small town near the border between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Bondipur Forest is well known for its Tiger Reserve, which was established in 1974. It stretches for over 220 kilometers. Bondipur astounds visitors with its topography as well as its picturesque and social attractions, and it would be impossible not to visit its caverns. Siddha Cave, discovered in 1987, is a must-see destination. It is said to be the largest surrender in both the kingdom and the South Asian subcontinent. Silk worm farming is a way of life in this region. You may need to find a guide or a nearby to get to one, but once there, you can walk around the farms to see how the silkworms are raised and how they eat the mulberries and transform them into silk. The best time to visit this location during the monsoon season is between July and September. Summers in this part of the country are typically normal and mild, with temperature fluctuations ranging from 32 degrees Celsius to 38 degrees Celsius. The best time to visit this location during the summer is between March and May. 10. Makalu. At 8,485 meters, Makalu is the world's fifth highest peak. It is located in the Mahalingor Himalayas, 19 kilometers southeast of Mount Everest, on the border of Nepal and China's Tibet Autonomous Region. Makalu, one of the 8,000ers, is an isolated peak with the shape of a four-sided pyramid. Mountaineers from the Indian Army on an expedition in Nepal discovered mysterious footprints in the snow that they believe belong to the Yeti, or Abominable Snowman, on April 9, 2019 near a valley in Mount Makalu. Besides, Makalu Baran National Park has an abundance of birdwatching opportunities. Mountain eagles, vultures, and falcons can be seen flying above the valleys. Exotic birds such as the rose-ringed parakeet can be spotted by more experienced birdwatchers. For an easier birdwatching experience, we recommend bringing your own binoculars or purchasing one at the national park's entrance. If you're looking for adventure, you can go on an expedition. The Makalu Baran National Park trek begins in Kathmandu and concludes in Yangal Karka. The trek provides stunning views of the region's scenery. It is critical that you select the proper footwear for your trek. If you like our content so far, please do check out our other videos.
Before you go, one of the things worth mentioning is that Nepal has the world's highest peak at 8,848.48 meters above sea level and the world's highest lake at 4,800 meters above sea level. There are many more amazing facts about Nepal that we can only cover in the next video. Thanks for watching.